What's happening guys? Today we're going to do a little short video on the Humminbird Piranha Max 4. Now this is not the Humminbird Piranha Max 4 DI. Okay, this is just the Plain Jane basic depth finder that you can find pretty much anywhere. <clears throat> but I'm telling you right now, it's only around 100 bucks. You go get what you pay for. But for that $100 that you're going to spend on this dude right here, you can do a lot of things with it and do the things that you need to do with it. So let's get into it, okay? So we're gonna start it up. All right, it says, you know, transducer connected, start up. Okay, water temp's 89 degrees. It's 10 foot deep right here. The main thing about this depth finder, guys, is the accuracy. This guy right here is just as accurate as my Humminbird uh, Helix 5 Chirp <clears throat> okay uh, you know it marks what you need it to mark there's a brush pile right here okay we got a couple fish on it okay you know obviously you know the colors you know when it's red that's a big object the lighter the color the smaller the object is but you can see you know I'm going around this brush pile there's probably some shad right here okay but you can see that brush down there. And that's the main thing when you crappy fishing, guys. You know, this is not a live scope. And no, this is not my Humminbird uh, Helix 5. But I'm telling you, for how long I've had this thing, it is so accurate, okay? It tells me the water depth. It tells me the water temp, okay? And it lets me come back to my brush piles, okay? Obviously, I have brush piles marked on my side image in my helix 5 in the back of the boat so it's easier for me to mark brush piles and then come back to them versus saying you know oh well, i know there's a brush pile right here let me spend 45 minutes trying to find it but this guy right here allows me to stay on top of the brush pile and you can see there's a ton of fish down there you know that's a big old clump of brush Okay, and this brush pile is pretty big. I would say it's probably about mm, maybe 20 foot across or so. It's a big one, okay? You know, we're in 14 foot of water. And I can always go to the back of the boat and turn on my Helix 5. And it's going to show exactly what this is showing. Now, it's going to show it more in depth than this will. But I keep it in the back for when I'm riding around. I can go ahead and mark stuff on my depth finder. This one, you, you know, you can't really mark as accurate as you can with uh, the Helix 5 back there. Actually, I don't think you can at all with this guy. But you can see all that brush down there, and you can set it up. You know, I got the view on sonar, you know, uh, depth range, auto, sensitivity. I have sensitivity on 8. You can go up to 10 on it. Uh, I felt like five was just a little bit too low, but if you go anything over eight, I feel like it's just way too much. Zoom, I have it off. Chart speed, the, your chart speed on this guy, it's a big one. You want to keep it as high as it'll go, and it's on five, okay? If you keep it any lower than five, it, the screen goes by way too slow. So if you keep it on five, you're good. Filter off, beam select, I have it on 200 kilohertz. Uh, I believe the other one, let's see, is 455, okay, but uh, 200 kilohertz, it works just fine on this depth finder, okay, light, we have it on 5, set up, you know, we can go through here, alarms, uh, fish ID, I have that on, okay, bottom view, structure ID, uh, units, temperature, depth, feet, you know, so on and so forth. It's a really good depth finder for the money, guys. If you're looking for something, if you just got you a boat, or if you're looking to add another 
uh, I guess set of eyes, if you will, to your boat, then you need to get one of these guys. You know, you can go with the live scope, like I've said before. I've thought about getting a live scope maybe here in the future, but I will definitely still have this guy on the boat because it's just so accurate. Uh, you know, I know a lot of catfishing guys use these because, you know, mainly what they're looking for is depth and water temp. But all I'm looking for when I crappy fish is staying on top of the brush pile or staying on top of fish. You know, these fish are scattered out right here. Like I said, these are probably shad right here, and we got some bigger fish below them, okay? So, it's just an awesome depth finder. For the money, you can't beat it. Uh, you know, it has a tilt. I have it tightened down right now, so when I'm driving down the road, it don't come flying off. But I have it sitting, you know, when I'm sitting in my chair over here, you know, I have it sitting right here. And I can see it clear as day. You know, maybe sometimes I'd like to have a maybe a wider screen, but I can see it. You know, we got a big old ball of something right there. We're coming back over the brush. You can see that guy right here. Okay. And that's it. It's simplicity. You know, simplicity is always going to be your best answer, guys. So, hey, that's going to do it for today's video on this little short video of the Humminbird Piranha Max 4, okay? I highly recommend it. You know, look. Look at all the fish and look at the brush. It's an awesome little setup. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and think about liking this video. And if you really, really like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That'll really help me out. Makes me want to make more videos, guys. So until next time, tight line. God bless.